Hello everyone, I've got a 4.0 Borazin walkthrough video for you, and we are going to be using Void Rays. We're just going to mass Void Rays and that's it. <laughs> so if we have any extra minerals, I'll probably soak it up with uh, some Tyrions. But other than that, yeah, just massing Void Rays. And I figure, why not, let's play on Dead of Night co-op mission on Brutal Difficulty and see how good these Void Rays are. So there's a lot of enemies, and Void Rays can only do single target damage, so I'm not sure how well they'll do. Maybe the Centurions will help with their area damage, but we'll see. Alright, so for Power Set 1, we've got Dark Pylon Range. Power Set 2, we've got Shadow Guard Duration. And Power Set 3, everything in Initial and Maximum Spear of a Dune Energy. Uh, and I take that back, actually. I don't think the Centurions actually can do uh, area damage. I think that's only with Artanis. I think there might be an upgrade, but yeah, I don't, I don't actually think the Centurions can do splash damage when using Borazin. But anyways, let's get it started. We'll be doing Brutal Difficulty on Dead of Night, playing with a random player again. Alright, it looks like our teammate is Chasios. Not sure if that's how you say that, but Kerrigan level 10. Not even mastery levels. So, <laughs> this might actually be a little bit more difficult because it's hard to... This is a bit of a difficult mission on Brutal Difficulty and it's hard to, you know, do it one-sided without a level 15 player, but, you know, depends on the player's skill. We might be able to get this. We'll see. <laughs> All right. All right, we're popping straight in it. We've got a serious level of infestation here, and we need to Okay, so we're gonna pump out one probe, and then we're gonna throw down our first pylon, and then what we're gonna do is, just like in the last walkthrough video, we're just going to throw down two of these, or actually, <laughs> I think we're going to throw down all three orbital simulators, because I forgot that there's no expansion on this map. Okay, we'll just save up for a couple more minerals here, then we'll have all of our gas going, so that's going to be really awesome. Not going to have to worry about gas for the rest of this match, because these guys are going to cover it for us. And that's really good, because we're going to need a lot of gas for this uh, strategy building all these void rays okay just gonna keep on pumping out these probes and we wonder what's gonna happen here okay so looks like our enemies are gonna be coming from the south west corner of the map right from the get-go I'm gonna build a gateway and then as soon as the gateway is done we're just gonna save up for a cybernetic core I'm gonna hold off on building forges for now we're actually only going to need one forge well, maybe we'll get a couple forges later because uh, of the Centurions we'll be using, but I mainly want to get the upgrades for our air units first. And yeah, as you can see, we've already got 300, almost 350 gas going for us. That's awesome. Okay, and I think maybe we'll throw down one of these pylons right away. Well, should I? I'm wondering. Maybe I'll throw down a pylon. Let's see here. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and give my teammates some cover right from the get-go. That'll help out. Okay, and we're just about ready with this first gateway, and we're going to throw down that Cybernetics Core now. And I think I'm actually going to throw down two, because I want to get double air upgrades. So we'll get the attack and armor upgrades for our air units. And I'm going to go ahead and pump out one Centurion. But, I mean, like it's going to help that much. Mainly going to depend on this uh, Shadow Guard that we're going to be using here. The Centurions I'm going to be building will be for backup. Okay, I'm going to throw these Cybernetics Core into Hotkey 9, and then we'll put this uh, Gateway in Hotkey 3. Oops, there we go. Okay, just keep on pumping out these probes, and here they come. Okay, I'm going to get Warp Gate, and then start getting Air Weapons Level 1, and then we're going to throw down our first Stargate. And as soon as we have the Stargate, I think I'm going to throw down a Fleet Beacon right away get that upgrade for the the void rays there's an upgrade that allows the void rays to uh, as, as well what I'm trying to say here the longer they attack the more range that they have for their attack so we'll go ahead and get that upgrade from that fleet beacon there and I'm just going to try to do as much work as we can with this with these uh, shadow guards as we can before they're gone okay and we'll throw this into a hotkey and go ahead and get another stargate here Okay, and you know what? I'm actually going to throw down. I'm going to throw down three of them because I want to be able to have a lot of supply here. And I'm just going to kind of build a wall of pylons right here for when the enemy, if the enemy does break into our base, they have to attack these pylons before my uh, buildings. 
just a preference thing, I guess. Alright, so it looks like our Shadow Guard held him off for a while. We've got Kerrigan out there now. And I think I'm actually going to give Kerrigan some cloaking here. There. Now all we have to do is defend the Dark Pylon. Kerrigan will be able to take on a lot of these guys. Okay. And I will get to warp. We'll have warp get pretty quick. Oh yeah, we already have it. Okay, we could get air armor level 1. And I'm not even going to build uh, another gateway right now. Just going to work on getting those void rays pumped out. It's going to be our main thing. Okay, looks like we lost. We'll use time stop here to help out Kerrigan. Okay. Alright, we have enough probes out now. We've got a lot of supply, and now we can just keep on pumping out units. Okay, I think I'm actually going to throw down... Oh yeah, I forgot to throw down that fleet beacon. Okay, we're going to throw that down now. And we're going to throw down a forge, because then we can get the shield upgrades for our units. Air and ground units, that is. Okay, I'm going to change our gateway into a warp gate. I'm going to throw this guy back over here. And we're going to build some more pylons. Okay, and I'm going to use, what's it called here? Chrono Boost. Chrono Boost on one of our cybernetics cores. And we'll get uh, air weapons level 2 going, and we'll get shields level 1 going from our forge. Throw the fleet beacon into a hotkey. Alright, there we go. We'll be safe to move out again in the daytime. Can we go ahead and help Kerrigan out here with these void rays that we got? Okay, just keep on pumping out some more void rays again. Yeah, Kerrigan's doing a real good job out here for us. That's awesome. All right, it's daytime. Time to do some work. Okay, commanders, we need to destroy enough structures. Okay, I'll get one centurion out here just to gather some of these minerals. And I'm gonna go ahead and deploy our shadow guard too to help us do some more damage. Okay. Keep on pumping out these void rays while we're at it. Okay, doing good so far. Okay, let's see here. Alright, don't want that. I uh, don't think we need that right now. Okay, prismatic range. Increases the range of void rays weapons as it continues to attack. That's that upgrade I was talking about a second ago. Okay, got that going. And we're going to go ahead and get air armor level 2 going. Alright, we're sitting great right now. Okay, we're going to throw down another pylon here. And throw down two more pylons right there. Okay. All right, we're doing great. We're gonna go ahead and start clearing out this area down here next. Okay, we're gonna lose our shadow guard. Get out another centurion, and we'll probably uh, get some more uh, gateways eventually. But right now, we're actually doing pretty good on keeping the mineral and gas income pretty even. Well, actually, <laughs> I take that back. It's starting to break away at this moment. So yeah, we'll actually throw down some more gateways and make them warp gates. Okay, we'll throw down another pylon here. All right. it looks like we've taken and out I'll go ahead and throw down another gateway here. And another gateway here. Okay, Base gotta keep moving out with these void rays and do work. Focus down the hydralis. Don't want to lose any of these void rays. We just want to keep on massing and massing and massing as much as we can. Oh, and I need to get a Twilight Council. I forgot about that. For the shield upgrades, in order to keep on getting the shield upgrades, we need... Uh oh watch out for this hybrid here. We'll focus this guy down. Yeah, for the shield upgrades, in order to get level 2 uh, uh, shield upgrades, we need a Twilight Council for that. And there's some upgrades from uh, for the Centurions from that Twilight Council as well, so that'll be helpful. Okay, we'll focus down this hybrid that's doing damage. We need to pull... Oh, lost that one, unfortunately. Okay. Keep on making these Void Rays. I'm going to change these guys into Warp Gates. Okay. And I'll make some more pylons here. Just keep that supply growing. Okay. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and pull a time stop, actually. Just so we can keep on focusing down these buildings for a little bit longer. Alright, and we're going to get air weapons level 3 and air armor level 3 in a second. All right, we're going to have to pull back now. All right, we're just going to get this big one, and we're out of here. Okay, time to go back and defend. Okay, we'll have air armor. Actually, I'm going to cancel this void ray. I want to get air armor level 3 first. 
And we're going to defend the Shadow Pylon, I think. Yeah, we'll have these guys defend in here. Just going to try to spread them out a little bit, just in case there's any type of splash damage. Okay, there. I'm just going to have them all hold position here, so if anything comes at us. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and throw a Shadow Pylon up here for all of these, uh... <clears throat> oh, what are they called? Spine Crawlers. There we go. Okay. Alright, now we need to use some of these minerals that we have too, so I'm going to throw down some Centurions over here. And we need to soak up some more... build more units. So we're going to throw down some more of these gateways. Okay, and we're going to get Shields level 2. We get this pro back on the supply line. Okay, so far so good. Again, a little intense over here. Okay, we're going to throw down uh, Shadow Guard to help out this uh, north side. I'm going to keep on pumping out these Void Rays best we can. Okay, a lot of units coming in here, but these Void Rays are doing a really good job. They're pretty much melting everything. Hopefully we can keep this... Oh, no, we lost the Shadow Pylon, unfortunately. Okay, we're going to throw down another one anyway. Okay, and I'm just going to keep on building these uh, Centurions. Okay. But I'd advise against it, Commanders. It'll be easier to take All right. the structures I'm gonna in the do, uh, put these guys into the hockey again and then start making some warp gates here. And I think we'll actually start making some uh, photon cannons. A wall of photon cannons over on this side right here. Because they're they're eventually gonna come in over here and we need Are to have some type of extra Amon defense. Wants to attack us now too? Perfect. Oh, and Amon's coming at us, I guess. Okay, lots of these guys coming in at us. Okay, we're going to throw down some more Centurions. Get some more Void Rays out. If we need to, we'll have time stop in a second. Only 30 seconds left of the night, though, so we're doing good. Okay, and the more we can clear out uh, this after this night, that'll be great, because <laughs> it's going to get real nasty if we don't do something soon. Okay, stay alive, Kerrigan. Yeah, we have a really good teammate. Even though our teammate's only at level 10, uh, our teammate's doing a really good job with Mike Brewing Kerrigan, so that's awesome. Okay, now we're going to move out and clear out this spot down here. Okay, get shields level 3 pretty quick here. We have, we're have we going to have all of our air upgrades, so that's awesome. We don't have to worry about that anymore. And I'm actually going to get some oracles as well so we can get detection. There is a uh, an upgrade for the oracles. They get that uh, stasis ability, that stasis ability upgrade. That could actually be beneficial to us. But I don't think we're going to we're going to get that actually, because I mean it's just an extra thing to micro, and if you guys have the micro, I mean go ahead and get that stasis ability. But honestly, all I'm doing is I'm just using the attack command here, and that's good enough. The the attack command, <laughs> I just uh, attack command with these void rays, and they melt everything. As you can see, you mass a ton of them, and the damage is incredible, especially after you have attack uh, upgrades level three here. I'm going to put our Chrono Boost on our Forge here, get Shields level 3, and now I'm going to start getting upgrades for the Centurion. Uh, Shadow Charge allows Centurions to intercept nearby enemies, also increases their movement speed, and Dark Coil allows Centurions to stun nearby enemy units. Alright, we'll go ahead and get that as well. Okay, alright, we've got some Oracles out here to help us uh, defend now, or not defend, but get detection. And let's see here, Stasis Ward, oh no, that's not the ability I was talking about. Let's see here. I'll just go ahead and check out what it is. So we already have the Stasis Ward ability, but for the Oracle's Stasis Collaboration... Uh, calibration, my bad. Stasis Calibration. Enemies affected by the Oracle's Stasis Ward can now be attacked. Oh, okay. So basically, once those enemies are stunned in that Stasis Ward ability, then uh, you can also attack them. Because uh, normally, you pull off that Stasis Ward ability, and then all that happens is... They're just out of action. You can't actually do anything to them. But with that upgrade, then you can. So it's very powerful, but I don't think we're going to... I still don't think we're going to get that upgrade. I'm just going to wait on that for now. Yeah, we are doing really good now. We've got a really good mass of units here. This is a very viable option for this co-op mission, honestly. These Void Rays are great. As long as you avoid any type of splash damage... I mean, it's okay having these guys clumped together for now. But if you run into anything with splash damage, just spread out your Void Rays and you should still be able to handle it. So yeah, this is great. There isn't a lot of uh, anti-air on this uh, co-op mission. Okay, let's see here. We just about have shields. Alright, it's the next night. Uh oh Oh, shoot, I was clumsy with uh, my clicking. Alright, we saved one of the Oracles at least. Yeah, I want to keep this Oracle in the back here. 
Alright, and you know what? We're actually going to pull back here and take out that bonus objective. I'm going to try and take out the viral phage. We're going to use our time stop and see if that stops. Oh yeah, look at that. Good, good. Alright, we should be able to kill this guy before time stops even over. I'm going to deploy our shadow guard and try to help kill it quicker, a little, little bit quicker too. Hopefully we can get it. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Time stop is so powerful. <laughs> I love it. Okay, we got to go back home and defend now though. Okay, time to defend the base. Okay, and they're going to start attacking from this side here. Oh, our teammate got Broodlords. That's perfect. Broodlords are so good for this map. Okay, let's pull these guys apart here. And just hold position. I'm going to go ahead and throw down another Dark Pylon. And we're going to get ground weapons level 1 for our Centurions. And we're going to spawn a bunch of these Centurions in here. Okay. Oh, and now they're breaking through. Okay, I think we're actually going to spread some of these guys out. We need to help defend this this side. Otherwise, we're going to get overrun really quickly. Okay, we lost our probe. But that's okay. We've got a lot of void rays here. Okay, and we're going to uh, spawn in a ton of... Uh oh Oh, geez. That guy snuck into our supply line. That little bugger. All right. Pull some of these void rays over here. All right, and we're gonna have to take out that nice worm really quickly too. Probably should have saved our time stop because now things are getting a little intense here. Okay, we're gonna throw down another orbital assimilator. We'll take out this guy pretty quick here, the kaboomer. Okay. All right, and we need to defend these uh, probes. Make sure our Nexus doesn't go down here. Alright, we're going to use our uh, Black Hole ability Looks because like we we're uh, running a little bit low on defenses. Okay, I'm going to send these guys back over here. Let's see, I think our... Where did that... I actually don't know. Oh, there it is. There's the Ninus Worm. Okay, we're going to try and take that out. Okay, I'm going to leave these Centurions over here to help defend still. We're going to go ahead and place a Stasis Ward down. Not that it's going to actually get placed. Okay. You know what? Actually, we are going to get that Stasis Ward ability. Stasis Calibration. We're going to go ahead and get that still. I think that'll be beneficial for us. Okay, we did take out that nice Worm. I think there's a big guy coming at us right now. Yep. We're going to deploy our Shadow Guard for that. Okay. Alright, it's daytime. Thank goodness. Big guy's still coming at us, though. Oh, never mind. That was an enemy wave. Oh, good, good, good. That was a tough one. Detecting more structures at this location. All right, we're going to pump out a bunch of probes, and we're going to get Chrono Boost on our uh, Nexus again. Okay, and we actually were making use of that uh, stasis. I think that will we'll actually be able to make use of that uh, stasis ability because it's really good. <laughs> stasis Ward. Uh, we're going to be able to make use of that because we can just leave these sitting here. I completely forgot about that aspect of it. So we're just going to place a ton of these down. And that's going to be able to halt that infested waves. Jeez, I didn't even think of that. That was so... Ah. <laughs> I wasn't thinking clearly there. Of course we can use the, the stasis ward ability. And we can make good use of it too. I was thinking about doing it while I'm out attacking the, uh, attacking the enemy's bases. And taking out these infested uh, structures. But I mean, no, that's, that's not even like the best way to do it. Just place a bunch of them in a wall in front of your base. And then that'll slow down the infested. Way better use. I should have been thinking of it that way the whole time. That would have been... We would have been able to, you know, just hold off the enemies here and here. Way better. But, oh well, for next time we can do that. Okay, we're gonna deploy our Shadow Guard, help take down all these enemies. And we're gonna clear this out real quick now. Not even, wor like, very worried about this anymore. Okay, we're just gonna do a couple of shift clicks so we can, uh, have these, uh... Void Rage just do some work for us. I'll have our oracles like follow them. And actually, what I want to do is I'm going to send... I'm going to send... Well, keep one of the oracles with these guys. But I'm going to send these guys back home quick. And put down some more stasis wards. Just in case we don't make it through this night. But I'm pretty sure we are going to make it. Okay, we're going to pump out some more of these probes again. Yeah, we've got this covered. Okay, I'm going to clear out this stuff. Burned out almost all of the infestation. Let's finish the okay. job. Yeah, we, we're not even going to have to worry about this next night. Because what's going to happen is 
Uh, night's gonna happen, and then... Yeah, I'm gonna send these guys back, actually. They're all gonna be coming over here. So, yeah, basically we'll, we'll get this next night, but I'm gonna use time stop, and we'll be able to finish him off anyway. Yeah, these guys don't have a chance. Okay, we're gonna throw down a bunch of stasis wards here. Okay, we're gonna throw down time stop, and just keep clearing out stuff. Okay, there we go. Alright, everything go attack. Oh, I'm gonna pull these guys away. Hopefully we can lock them. Yep, we locked some of them in that stasis ward ability. Okay, let's just kill these structures. The more structures we can kill, the better. Okay, there we go. Okay, we should be able to sneak in here. Because we're obliterating these guys right now. These void rays are so strong. Okay, we're just going to make some more void rays. Pump out some more probes. And we're just going to attack command forward again. Oh, yeah, look at this. See the stasis ward? It's just going to keep on holding them. I'm going to uh, warp in a bunch more of these centurions, though. Oh, actually, we're low on minerals. We have, we have gas, but we don't have minerals. That's kind of funny. Okay, since we have a lot of energy, we're going to use our black hole ability and our shadow guard at the same time. Okay, this is getting real intense here, but we're going to keep on trying to push forward. Okay, and I'm going to try and put down as many stasis wards as we can. Try and lock as many of these guys as we can. Okay, and just gotta keep on pushing forward. We're gonna take out the spore crawler. There was a, not a queen, um, an infester that actually was able to uh, do some splash damage on us, but we're still we're still rolling good here. Just gotta kill these structures. Gotta focus on these structures before they can keep spawning. I'm not even worrying about our base right now because this is it. Okay, come on. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, there's still there's still a structure over there. Shoot! We gotta get this structure. Okay, so... <laughs> shoot. Okay, we gotta use our F5 ability. Okay. Alright, we should be able to hold them off. I just gave up everything because I saw, I saw victory in sight here. Okay, we've got it though. Okay, we're gonna use our uh, uh, pulsar beam with our or oracles as well, so we can take this out. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. So we could have defended that last wave without losing half of our base, but it didn't matter because I saw victory in sight. <laughs> uh, it's a little sketchy. If you guys want to play it more safe, yeah, defend the last wave, but. It's kind of like on that uh, Void Thrashing co-op mission. There's a big wave that comes at the very end on the Void Thrashing co-op mission, but you can kill the last all four of the Void Thrashers before that wave even destroys your whole base. That's typically what I normally do just to finish quicker. So, anyways, yeah, there you have it. Void Rays are so good and so strong. As you can see, once you had a mass of them, they just melted away the building's health points any infested building's health points, and killed all the units really quickly too, it was awesome. And then uh, with those oracles, actually I would suggest using them. At first I was like no, but I completely forgot about the fact that you can just uh, mass a ton of them in front of your base, because you have waves coming at you, and they actually do a really good job, and if you have that upgrade, the stasis calibration, and you can attack the units that are stunned, yeah, that's pretty darn good and you better do it. So I would suggest uh, incorporating the oracles into your army. And uh, at least, at the very least, you can use the Pulsar Beam ability. Okay, and then there's the stats for anyone who wants to see. And that's all I have for you in this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next.